up you guys? Welcome back to Lola's farm. Super, super exciting day taking the form off of our future brick pizza oven. We're gonna start actually building the oven in this video and I'm so excited to see this thing finally take shape. Come and check it out, honey. lumpy on the sides but it's gonna be all covered up anyway right? yeah we're gonna fix all that that's that's part of the deal with concrete you know it's there's a lot of rocks in there so you yeah. need a lot of rocks for the strength it looks strong as heck Woo! it's like some brick baby thank you for building me a bed human you're welcome raj you deserve it bud <laughs> you're not about to sleep there forever though It makes it pass here. I just gotta say, you guys, you don't have to worry about a thing. We have plenty of coconuts <laughs> to get us through the weekend. <laughs> you think I can take it? Here we go. I don't know, honey. See what you got. Oh, I might be able to. It's all downhill anyway, so. I did it! <laughs> The it's the power of the Crocs. And this is going to give us the middle. There is the middle. Okay. Perfect. We're laying out the fire bricks in a herringbone pattern. This is the very bottom of the oven. This is what the pizza and the bread and all the baked goods are going to sit on. So we just made the circle going around as a template. Now we're just going to lay them out rough just so we know exactly how many bricks we need. We just, we've never done this pattern before either, so we kind of just wanted to practice. Then we're going to lay them down in some refractory cement. Like put on, like you know how you used to like put on shows yeah. for your parents? She filmed all the time, all the time. With fire brick, you need to soak it for about 30 minutes because it absorbs all the moisture and that's how you get the refractory cement. I can't say that word. Refractory cement. That's how you get the refractory cement to work properly is by saturating these with water. This is refractory cement, which is made for high heat. This is how they sell it here in Panama in these small bags. Pretty expensive. 10 bucks for one of these bags. We'll see how much this gets me. I don't think it's gonna be a heck of a lot. All right, you guys. Sadie is. Oh. I don't think this is gonna. What were you gonna say? <laughs> I was gonna say Sadie's finally big enough to go on our backs, <laughs> but uh, I don't think she was really digging it right now. <laughs> we're back in action now. <laughs> she just needed a little nummy. She is totally content right now. It actually feels so much better too to have the weight on my back because I feel like when I have her in the front it's constantly pulling my shoulders forward and by the end of the day my back and my shoulders and my neck are just like totally shot and this is gonna allow me I feel like to do much more things because I feel like when she was in front of me there was a lot that I couldn't do I couldn't really bend down or carry a lot of things or really do much work directly in front of me so this is big this is a big upgrade you guys 
I have a new appreciation for working with concrete. This whole project, honestly, has just been so much fun. Yeah, I like genuinely have been enjoying this so much. And Even now, it's like very tedious, but. And now going with the clay bricks, it's just like, honestly, I've really, really enjoyed it. Working with concrete blocks is kind of a pain in the butt because they just, just, just destroy your hands. They're heavy, they're hard to move around. But working with clay brick, I'm trying to talk Kaylee into building a clay brick house. It might take like seven years to build, but at least we know we'll be there forever. Like in the States when you see the old homes from like 1830. That's true. They're always cute. brick. That's true. We're in a good rhythm here. Kaylee's laying down all the blocks and now I'm cutting them. We have to lay a lot of these curved blocks now, which I was honestly pretty intimidated by, but it's not all that bad. It's actually kind of fun to cut. So we're just working our way right along here, all the way along the edge. She's just about there. <laughs> I'm loving this new setup we got going on here in the back. She looks like a little monkey, you know? Like monkeys hang onto their mom's yeah, backs. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like even though this pizza oven venture that we've been taking on and all these other little projects that we've done like building the rock wall doing the stamp concrete it's all been very unique things that we haven't done before and i mean that's basically been everything <laughs> since moving on to this land is everything has been so new to us and jordan and i were just saying how we feel like all of these things that we're doing now is just going to be so so beneficial for when we do start building our house because we're going to have done almost not everything but welding working with wood working with cement working with block working with um, brick doing something new every single day has just been really really exciting but we are making really really good progress we are just getting to the end of it now we mostly just have all of the outside pieces now that jordan is cutting um and i'm placing them down Whew, we're getting there we're getting there i feel like we're starting to be able to visualize what this is going to look like. Basically all the blocks that are left now are just the ones that we need to cut, which, the, oh my God. What? This is Eddie Murphy. I know, I put it on for you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta go, you guys gotta go listen to Eddie Murphy's album, specifically the song, Party All The Time. <laughs> Perfect. Working in the rain is such a challenge and I've kind of forgot how brutal it can be trying to like do anything that's just so much easier when it's dry. Painting, laying concrete, welding, basically building anything, <laughs> doing anything other than like farming, yeah. like farming tasks, but like. Even the wind too, like it's, that's like the worst part, I feel like. It's not even like raining right now, it's just like misty, but when the wind hits the mist and just like Blast blows in the you in the face, yeah. But it's making all the mortar a lot more wet than it should be, so some of the blocks that we're laying started sinking because this rain's coming in and kind of just like soaking everything. And we also just have a dog that's covered in mud. <laughs> I'm embracing every moment it, right He'll now. just come right up and just give it to you. <laughs> this is Brian for all you guys who don't know. This is technically Iberto's dog, but we say that they're basically just roommates because he kind of just comes and goes as he pleases <laughs> and I'll just like randomly show up on our land every so often. <laughs> Him and Lola are best friends. I'm pretty impressed, honey. I mean, it's pretty for circular. This, for this being our first time, and you know, figuring out the whole pattern thing, I, w I will say I was very much doubting how the heck we were going to make this so round. But I can't even draw a circle this round freehand. 
true. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> this next part isn't going to be tricky. It's the part after that, right? Everything's going to be tricky. Everything has been pretty tricky, actually, for the most part. But the next part is going to be putting the first layer down around the whole perimeter. And then we're not going horizontal. We're not going vertical. I mean, it's coming down. Did you guys build me a new bed? <laughs> he's just like Lola. I feel like anytime we build something, he's always gotta come over and check out, you know, what we're doing, what we built, thinking that it's for him. <laughs> just a quick break today. Eating some lunch. Homemade chili for lunch. I'm gonna slam this and then just get right back after it. I wanna get as much done on that stove today as possible. What do you think, you little monkey? I just woke up from a nice long nap -a -doop. So I'm gonna be in a good mood now for the next couple of hours. <laughs> right? That's usually what happens. <laughs> Man, she just like looks right into your soul now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hi. I love you. <laughs> So I've cut all the bricks in half because we didn't need the full brick of length. I know we're gonna lose a little bit on the insulation, but the insulation's really gonna go on the outside of the oven. If we used a full brick, it would have made this oven really, really small. The wall would have come all the way to here and you might have not even been able to fit a pizza in there. And yeah. Kaylee likes big pizzas. We want big pizzas. <laughs> to put a big pizza in here, we're gonna need a big door. So this part right here is where the door is gonna go. We're gonna have a nice dome, nice round dome door. I guess you would call it. That's gonna go right there. Pizza's gonna slide in and out. Time to start going vertical. This first row, we're gonna no, just we're do- we're going dome, honey. Time to go start going dome. <laughs> Good afternoon, there you go. <laughs> this first row is just gonna be flat, and then we're gonna start angling the bricks up after that. This lens is so dirty. I don't know if you guys can see all this clay on here, but I'm sorry if this has just been- it's just super dirty. So we checked the level to make sure everything was really good from like pretty much as many angles as we could and it's all perfect, just where we want it. So now we just laid these down just to kind of visualize it first before we start laying the cement. Cement? I always get confused with cement and concrete. But first I'm just gonna trace all of these so we know exactly where they're gonna go and it's gonna be just right. Did you ever have a kid in high school, honey, that would sharpen their pencils like this? With a knife? In class. They'd just like pull out their little Leatherman and just start sharpening their pencil like this in class. Never. Did you? Me neither. But I wish I was that kid. Sadie's gonna be the, the one of the few kids who's gonna be able to bring a Leatherman to school. Cause school's gonna be right here, baby. <laughs> right here. We're gonna lay all of these bricks down now with a little bit of concrete in between. So let's go to the time lapse. This is gonna look so freaking good. I just spent some time filling in all the cracks, even all the cracks here on the bottom. 
where all the pizza is going to go. It's super smooth, super flat. The refractory cement's a little challenging to work with. It doesn't stick like concrete does. It's almost like working with sand. It's a little sticky, but it's not as strong. I hope it gets stronger when it cures. I really don't know. I've never worked with this stuff before. But we're going to keep going up. We're going to build the dome, then put insulation on the outside, and then the final coat just to make it look nice. Still a lot of work to do. Slow going, but man, am I having so much fun doing this and just watching all this progress. It's a blast, but that's it for today on Beat. These are arepas, these are a Venezuelan traditional street food. And uh, Adrian is far superior at making these than I am, but I'm finding my way. <laughs> Bien, bien. Yeah, right. Are those the new Jordans? Yeah. Oh my. Supermarket Jordan. Yeah, how much do they cost? 50 cents each. Whoa. Where can I get a pair? <laughs> Super Baru. <laughs> I thought those were the Jordans that Michael Jordan wore in Space Jam movie. I think they are. Damn. Look at those shoelaces. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> <You're honest. laughs> Do you want to explain what those are, honey? The girl Kaka doesn't want to take his shoes off, so we made him put bags on his feet. I cleaned this workshop from top to bottom. I spent like an hour and a half. And if he didn't want to take his shoes off, then I I made him put bags on his feet. We have a deal and I'm honoring that deal. Look at these two right now. Oh my god. You guys need to realize that this this happens totally on their own. Like they purposefully cuddle. Cuddle. Ooh, Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, look at that. So if you guys don't know what an arepa is, this is a very famous Vene Honey, Venezuelan I told food. I told them already. Well, say it again. Say it again. Do you know what we have <laughs> in here? We got shredded chicken. Adriana, esto está. Oaxaca queso. Oaxaca queso. Yes. We got some guacamole. This is Mr. Steel, your girl, dude. I literally was just gonna say. He already did this to me. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I gave her snacks, but I cannot compete with flowers. Did you give Adrian anything for Valentine's Day? I, I, I gave her snacks. One that she loves. Were they Cheez Its? Huh? Were they Cheez Its? No. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is it for us, you guys. We're going to bed. Well, these guys are already in bed. They're already asleep. I'm going to bed. Just look at this. Look at Sadie holding up to Roger. She loves him so much. Thank you guys so much for following along, supporting our family, and watching our videos. We appreciate it so much. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one.